a 16-year-old boy who was seen in two previous institutions because of uh, uh, significant esophagitis, which is inflammation at the distal part of the esophagus that is always attributed to acid reflux. And similar finding of inflammation or ulceration in the small bowel and the stomach, like the gastric ulcer, small bowel ulcer, duodenal ulcers. And he's been treated with antacids. He was actually on a double dose proton pump inhibitor, Prilosec, and Zantac twice daily, and they were both not helping his symptoms. And there was this um, overshadowing concern that he has some neuroendocrine tumor in the GI system or somewhere that is producing too much acid that is burning his GI system. And the parents, the child, they were all very concerned and worried, which is understandably when you're trying to treat something and it doesn't get better, beside the concern of other diseases like Crohn's disease and ulcerative uh, enteritis. They came to Mayo Clinic and we did the usual GI workup and beside that we were able to offer them the pharmacogenomics. And as part of the pharmacogenomics, we found that he had a unique phenotype that he actually burns through the NA acid. Um, it doesn't really bring up any therapeutic level unless he's in like 200 amount uh, double the, the normal dose. And so we use the medicine that is not metabolized by that the specific cytochrome, the CYP2C19, and we um, increased the dose. And I think three months into it, he stopped throwing up, felt much better, and he came back for, for a full of endoscopy, and the ulcers were completely resolved. Um, and we did do the workup for the, um, you know, the gastric rare, very rare cancers, and we found nothing, and they, they were very happy with the outcome. And his ulcers have completely resolved and he's back to school and things are working well.